Angolan President Joao Lorenzo was conspicuously absent during the Mashuja Day celebrations in Kericho, raising questions on his whereabouts. He arrived on Thursday to a government reception with the Kenyan delegation at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport that was led by Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi. Joao did not attend the event in Kericho County as the chief guest as announced by Prime and Foreign Affairs CS Musalia Mudavadi on Thursday. Uh, the government, however, says President Lorenzo will begin his official visit on Monday. Ayub Abdikadir reports. Fifteen hours after touching down at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, to a reception by Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi, who is also in charge of the foreign affairs docket. Angolan President Joao Lorenco, who was to grace Kenya's 60th Mashujade celebrations in the county of Kericho as the chief guest of honor, was conspicuously absent. In his place at the Green Stadium in the county, where the event was held, Angolan Foreign Affairs Minister Ambassador Antonio Tete spoke on his behalf but did not reveal the reason why President Lorenco was not present. On behalf of President João Lorenzo, I would first like to convey his apologies. He would have loved to be here, but for um, foreseen reasons, he couldn't make it to Kericho. But he sent you a very warm greeting, uh, thanking again for the warm reception we always have been granted in whenever we come to Kenya. The government did not explain why President Lorenko did not show up for the Mashuja Day celebrations, despite being in Nairobi a day before the event. President William Ruto, who officiated this ceremony, said President Lorenko will start his official state visit on Saturday. My friend Tete Antonio, Minister for Foreign Affairs, who is representing my brother, the President of Angola, who is in Kenya as we talk. And he will be having a state visit tomorrow. While well, President Lorenko to attend the event in Kericho County, he and his Angolan delegation would be some 107 kilometers from Nakuru County. That has a significant chapter in Angola's history. It is in Nakuru where in June 1975, President Jomo Kenyatta brought together Jonas Savimbi, Agostino Neto and Holden Roberto, three leaders of the divided black liberation movements in Angola. And after six days of intense talks midwifed by President Kenyatta, the three reached an accord, eventually leading to Angola's independence five months later, on the 11th of November 1975. On Saturday, President Ruto and Lorenko are expected to engage in a bilateral meeting. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV. Nairobi.